So the question of today is, what is a pastor? Okay, so there's a lot of things that can be said about this, um, but the the best thing that we can do is, you know, what does the Bible say? Like, what does the Bible say a pastor is, right? So <clears throat> um, a few things that I've learned is that in in uh, in the Greek. There's two technical, um, there's two words. There's two words uh, used for pastor where we just usually we use one. Um, Ephesians chapter four lists the different roles in the church. Okay, so um, among them, it lists uh, prophets, apostles, evangelists, teachers, and uh, if I didn't say pastors, right, then pastors. Uh, so it lists these people and so basically one of the things i've learned is that we have to take in the context of the time the time period and you know how things work back then because when we read that uh teachers are among that list then we think of like you know Sunday school teachers or um maybe youth pastors or children's church teachers we think of those but really um none of that stuff existed back then that was not a, a thing that they did. There wasn't AIDS segregation uh, in churches at all. You know, it wasn't really how it worked. So then, well, what is teachers talking about? If it's not talking about like all these, you know, different ways we have teachers today, what is it? And why is it listed different? Well, what what I believe uh, that the, it's saying, what it's getting at is that teachers and pastors are different things and also teachers is in the sense of like modern day preaching it would be kind of like that now i personally i like to differentiate it by saying that pastor or um, rather preaching and teaching are slightly different where you know preaching is you preach uh to the unsaved essentially like you evangelize it's sort of that thing teaching is what's done in the church you know it's it's for like learning and and growing in that sort of sense. All right, we go back to the, the original question. Why is there two mentions then? Because isn't pastor and teacher like the same thing? Well, it's not. They're actually two different roles. So it's actually biblical to say that there can be multiple teachers in a church, um, but pastor, they're, they're different, right? So a pastor is primarily a shepherd. That's what that word is translated to in the Greek. Um, the word is poimi or poimen, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but that's the word. And it basically means shepherd. So really and truly, um, while the Bible does say that a church leader should be apt to teach, you know, ready to, of course, give an account of what, why they believe what they do. Um, so you should know what the Bible says, obviously, but their primary duty is actually, uh, to be a shepherd of people is actually to lead and guide and not so much be like this one teacher to uh rule them all kind of thing you know where there's like one guy i don't think that's really biblical and you know a lot of you probably you know won't really know this about me but i used to be uh, quite active in teaching in my church but i would mainly do it in you know things like children's church and all that but it was kind of sad when i tried to you know, teach in other ways, but it was just like, that's not a normal thing, right? Like I wanted to reach as many people as possible with the things that I was learning. And I just wasn't really given a chance because not, and, and you know, I don't totally blame them. It's just not a traditional thing that's done anymore. And, you know, while I don't really blame them, you know, like in a way that I wouldn't blame another church for doing that, it, it just kind of sucks, you know, when you're this guy that has heart to teach, you know, heart to, you know, put your voice out there for people to hear what you have to say, but then you basically have to only do it to kids or in a small, like, five group, you know, Sunday school. You know, basically you don't have the opportunity to present something a little more substantial, meaty, you know, to, to a wider audience, which is what I really wanted to do more of. Uh, so then, you know, we get into this thing of, like, you know, pastors, you know, in today's world, right, they are very much... I say it's sort of like a spiritual monopoly over a bunch of roles in the church where they kind of do everything, a little bit of everything, where they're not just being a shepherd. And some of them aren't even good shepherds, but they're like, oh, I can teach, I can preach, I'm, I'm good at getting up and 
in front of a crowd, but maybe they, they're not good at being a shepherd, you know, being good people and kind of guiding them. Then they're not really fit for being a pastor per se, but more so a teacher. And so it's actually my belief that it is unbiblical to have like one speaker every Sunday. And it's not really how it's supposed to be. We're actually supposed to have uh, a bit more, you know, you fill a role and you fill a role. Everyone has a role to fill. And it doesn't it also doesn't mean that there needs to be like one pastor per church or one teacher per church. You know, there can be multiple, you know, like what if someone lives in that area and just, you know, has that, that calling that, that um, ability to do those things, but they just, they can't because of, where they go to church because they already have one you know just doesn't make any sense um but yeah i hope that you know with all of this uh, that can be something that people really start to take note of and starts to change in the church of america because i think it's just so sad you know when you have people like myself that you know really do have a desire for this stuff but they're basically like marginalized and, you know, kind of looked down on almost like, you know, they're not able to sort of like be uh, active, you know, because like, well, what if, what if that's what you want to do? What if like you were the best, I don't know, the best pie chef in the world? Like you could make the best pie, but suddenly, you know, you have, you work for this uh, organization. It's like, oh no, 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 we're going to put you, let's say they put you at the cash register. You're like, no, nah, man, like... You know, I like to bake, I like to bake pies, bake, bake bread, but they're like, no, 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 you, you do this, but maybe that's not what your calling is, maybe that's not what you're good at, you know, and that's another thing, a lot of people say that, oh, well, you're calling, you know, what, what is God calling you to do, you know, what, do you, what is, uh, what is your, what's the calling on your life, right, but really, when people say that, what they're actually saying is, uh, very specific stuff, you know, like, who does God want me to marry, you know, uh, what, what job does he want me to have? You know, what role in the church? But really, God's already said what he wants us to do. And, you know, it's, it's found in his, in his word, his Bible. It's like really sad when we fall in this place of like thinking, oh, no, we just can't, just can't do that. Because that's just not the structure. But maybe the structure is wrong. You know, I just think of like, what would it look like if everyone who you know, wanting to do a certain thing was able to, you know, like those who had a heart or a special ability or something like, what if we all worked together, you know, and, and didn't, didn't uh, just throw certain people under the bus and marginalize those that, you know, don't fit into what we want them to do, but just genuinely can fill that role, right? Just fill the role that they are uh, best suited to. Like, what would it look like if we all could just, you know, work together? I think that is really the best way to move forward is to just listen, you know, hear where people are coming from, hear, understand them, understand what they're good at, and just help them to reach that, you know, help them reach their goal. I think it's the best way to move forward. Anyways, with all that being said, see you on the next one.